Hey y'all, I'm Timothy. This is Ask Easily. Today I'm going to be talking with Kevin about air freight volume in 2020 first quarter. Hey there. Yeah, Timothy, that's an interesting question. You know, 2019 we got kind of caught up in a trade war and, you know, 2019 volumes declined by about 3.3%, which was the first decline we've had since 2012, kind of the remnants of, say, the Great Recession. As we came into 2020, it, it was chaotic. I mean, January, just alone, we had another drop of volumes. And so volumes in January of this year dropped around another 3.3%. So we had a 3.3% decline in 2019, and then we had a January 2020 3.3% decline. That 3.3% decline was primarily due to the timing of a Chinese New Year. Um, so you had, you know, you had the Chinese New Year, which is obviously something that kind of pops up every year that's a little bit disruptive. But the timing of it was a little interesting in January. The big thing you had was uh, COVID, which is crazy. It started affecting things toward the end of the month. And also in the middle of it too, you still had kind of ongoing remnants of the trade war just continuing to kind of play out that, you know, China and America just weren't quite on the same page as far as what they were going to do from a trade side. Then as you ran into February, what you, you had happen is now we've got COVID like hitting full swing as far as in China, not necessarily in America yet, but in China, it's really having a detrimental effect on international trade and all sorts of things. So you've got COVID hitting in, in pretty full force, at least in China, potentially. The other thing we've got going on is because of COVID, we've got a drop in passenger flights going on and just a lot of uh, just general, I guess, fear, uh, issues going on with international trade, international travel, those things are playing out in the month of February. I think I remember my wife in particular, um, we, we had flown somewhere at the end of January, but then when February comes around, she's starting to get a little more concerned about what's going on. Mm -hmm. I think she actually started stocking toilet paper in February, okay. Timothy, yeah. which Anyway, my wife was thinking ahead, but anyway, so we had these things going on in February and um, you had about a 18% drop in belly capacity, which, you know, for our people that don't understand what belly capacity is, the belly capacity is partly due to uh, the drop in international flights. When there's er less international flights, there's less belly capacity for our uh, uh, customers and people listening that may not understand this, um, on most international flights, you have international cargo riding in the belly of the planes. Then you have freighters that are moving freight uh, just on charters or just, just completely cargo flights. Then the next layer you've got of this, so, oh, in the month of February, guess how much it dropped? How much? Now it dropped nine percent, so we had a nine percent drop in the month of February. So you got a three point three percent drop, which that's two thousand twenty to January two thousand nineteen. This nine percent drop is probably completely unprecedented that you go from a three point three percent decline to now a nine percent decline.